Hey everybody, Dr. Brian Damhoff back with another edition of Strength Work for Runners. I'm so glad you guys have tuned in today. I'm gonna to go over today's workout and exactly what you're gonna need for equipment. So what you'll need is a slight weight. It could be a kettlebell, it could be a dumbbell, anything like that for kickstand RDLs, which are gonna be our main exercise of the day. After that, we're gonna roll into a series of three different exercises. Today, we're gonna to have isometric calf raises. For that, you can use a backpack with weight or maybe you're not even gonna need any weight. Either way uh, is fine. And then you just need a little bit of force, floor space as we'll do some core work. We're gonna do two front plank variations, one side plank, and then also we'll need a little bit more floor for our glute move today, which is gonna be our double leg glute bridge. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this weight to get started for our kickstand RDL. If you've never done one before, pay attention close. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that so that way we can use that perfect form. So with that weight, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one leg forward and then much like a bike kickstand, we're gonna stay in this position the whole time. Front leg can be a little bit bent here, but we wanna make sure that we hinge at our hip, meaning that chest is gonna come forward as I go down and I'm not gonna squat more as I go down. I don't wanna look like this. So we wanna use good form here. We're gonna do eight repetitions on either side. The hand holding the weight will be opposite the leg that is forward. So let's go ahead and get started with our first set of three here on kickstand RDLs. First set in the books, we're gonna go ahead and take a two minute recovery on our main exercise as always. If this is you guys' first time tuning out for one of my workouts, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate that. That way I keep putting out great content for you guys. As you know, I like to drop some knowledge bombs about running during our recovery on this main exercise. So today I wanna to talk a little bit about running warm up. It's one of the most common things I get. People say, hey, Dr. Brian, what should I be doing for a running warm-up? And I would say, it depends. There's a lot of different things. If we're doing a speed workout, we might wanna actually do some of those speed drills to get our body, get our brain, get everything ready to go before we do those drills. If you're just doing a regular run, sometimes the most effective, especially from a time component way to warm up, is to just go slow off the bat. And the majority of people are gonna do that, but uh, I definitely recommend doing some sort of drills, something to get the hips opened up, especially if you sit for a living. If you're gonna sit all day and then go out there and run, it's a great thing to do some sort of lunge matrix to go ahead and open up those hips, fire some of those muscles that we're gonna use as we get into running. But there is no one right answer. Lots of people have different opinions on things, but I think as long as you're doing a little bit of a warm up, then you're gonna be okay. But I never like to do the half hour, 45 minute warm up. You know, if you're a professional runner, college runner, high school runner, then maybe a longer warm up is more appropriate. But hey, let's face it, most of us are gonna go to the trail and we're gonna do nothing. We're gonna go ahead and hop into it. So big thing is start slow and build into it. But definitely recommend doing a few drills before you go in. Um, those lunges, like I said, are awesome to just go ahead and open up those hips and get everything to fire. So we're getting ready here for our second set. We're gonna do three sets total. Again, we're doing eight repetitions. Go as low as what is comfortable with your chest for you. So let's go ahead and grab that weight and we'll get this second set in the books.
hard, guys. Another two-minute recovery here. Feeling that posterior chain engage. Feel it in the hamstring, a little bit into the glute. Kind of a single leg exercise. That's a nice, easy variation. Uh, this is great for people who are kind of beginners into that strength work, but also it's great for advanced users as well. So uh, during this recovery, I want to talk a little bit now. We've talked about warm up is our cool down. What should you do for a cool down? And again, I'm going to say it depends. It can really vary on the type of work that you do. But I always am a believer in doing something besides just going back to the car and hopping in and driving home. I like to do a few little nice, easy, dynamic drills, just something to uh, kind of get our legs cooled down a little bit. It doesn't have to be anything intense. It can be very simple. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description to a routine that I commonly use as part of my cool down. But uh, again, there's no right answer here, but I think one of the best things to do is just not go back to your car and sit down and uh, go home and let everything tighten up. That's a common thing that I hear people say. But uh, at the same time, I'm not gonna do something that's super expansive. I'm not gonna do a very long cool down. Uh, it's definitely not gonna spend a half hour. I'm all about using your time wisely. Same thing with our strength work here. That's why our workouts are always in that 16 to 20 minute range here. And uh, it's something that you can always do at home and get in the work and get it done. Uh, that way you actually do the work because so many people will start with something like strength work for runners and uh, they'll do such a great job with it for one week, two weeks, and then they'll say, I just don't have time for it. So I understand that. That's why I'm here. I got your back. I'm going to get you guys nice and strong and do it in the right manner so we can hit all the muscle groups. So we're going to go on to this third set here and then we'll roll into our next series of exercises. So again, eight reps either side, make them good. Try to keep that back straight as we go down and hinge at the hips. exercise out of the way. Next up, we're going to roll to these accessory exercises here. We're going to do three sets total, three different exercises. We're going to get started with these isometric calf raises. I'm going to do it on this little step here at home. You don't even need to do it on a step. You can do it right on the ground. And I'm going to load it because I like to use as much weight as is possible to make it a challenge. And for this first set, what we're going to do is we're going to hold for 45 seconds at the top. If you do go with weight, I highly recommend using a backpack rather than holding a weight because it just makes you a little more stable. So go ahead, find your spot, and we're gonna get right started into these isometric calf raises. So three, two, one, and up. back and forth 
just like a saw. We're gonna hold that front plank for 30 seconds here. We're looking for good form the whole time. We wanna make sure everything's in a nice straight line. We don't want that butt too high, too low, anything like that. So let's go ahead and find our spot here. And then we'll do that front plank with the saw variation. So here we go and three, two, one, and up. Next up, we're gonna go into our glute move, and today it's gonna to be the glute bridge. So just a couple tricks to make your form nice and good. And what we're gonna do is be flat on our back. We're gonna bring those feet in towards the butt. The more away you are, the, the more you're gonna feel it in those hamstrings. But the most important thing of a glute bridge, everybody always laughs, but when you bridge up, we're gonna squeeze those butt cheeks like we got a penny between the cheeks and we don't want that penny to fall out. So as goofy as it sounds, that's the most effective cue. Get that big squeeze up top. We're gonna do three sets of 10 on this exercise. So let's go ahead and get started with that first set of glute bridges. guys that's our first round in the books we're moving on to round two so we're gonna go ahead and go back to those isometric calf raises again 45 second hold here get up nice and tall on the balls of the feet and feel those calves work it should feel nice and good here we're gonna go up and three two one and up second set of those isometric calves in the books. We're gonna go back to the core. We're gonna keep things very simple here. We're gonna go into a side plank. We're gonna do 30 seconds each side. Big thing, we wanna be in a straight line with the body. And we want everything to line up. We want that nice line in that side plank position. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on my right side here. Again, nice straight line with that body. I want that elbow to be directly under that shoulder. That's gonna keep us in that perfect position there. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, and up. Excellent job guys, we're gonna flip hips. Same exact thing, that nice straight line with the body just like we did before. Nice and stable that whole time. Here we go, three, two, one, and up.
excellent work, guys. We're gonna go back into those glute bridges. Let's make sure that we squeeze the penny at the top. Again, that's the most important cue. Make sure you don't hyperextend that back, but if you're squeezing that penny, usually that keeps that spine in that perfect position. So another set of 10 repetitions. Whenever you're ready, let's go ahead and get started on that second set. guys round two in the books we have just one more round of fun here so we're gonna go back to those isometric calf raises again nice and tall the balls of the feet as we hold for that 45 seconds here so let's go ahead and find our spot get ready to go and three two one and up Nice. I am feeling the calf love. I hope you guys are as well. We're going to go back to that front plank and this time again we're going to go with that soft plank. It's such a fun variation. Just get that sawing motion back and forth. Feel that core work. We're going to hold it for 30 seconds here. So let's go ahead and find that spot on the floor and here we go and three, two, one and up. Excellent job, guys. You have one last thing to do. Did I mention to squeeze the penny on these glute bridges? Because that's what we're looking to do. Last 10 here, go ahead and find that floor space. Let's make these really good and let's get that big squeeze up top, especially as we get tired. 10 more repetitions, here we go. Just like that, guys, we are done. You guys did awesome work. I appreciate you tuning in. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give yourselves a pat on the back. That was great work. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Please keep uh, checking in and checking out more videos.